It's February 16th, 2014. I'm just showing you guys one of my centrifuge setups. It's a waste oil processor. You can do biodiesel or you can do waste motor oil. I typically do mo waste motor oil. It's a lot quicker and faster to do and a lot simpler. Consists of a 55 gallon drum, steel drum with a 1500 watt heater element on the bottom of it with a 175 degree thermostat that controls that. It's 120 volts. This is wrapped in insulation with plastic wrap around that to keep everything safe. I'm running a typical centrifuge. You can get those off of eBay. High pressure goes in, spins it and separates the heavy from the light. Basically let's start from the top. So I've got a pipe that goes all the way to the bottom of the tank right here comes around goes into my power steering pump which is came off a of BMW it'll pump up to about 150 psi from there comes out about 150 psi 140 psi through this high pressure line into this 90 from this 90 it's got a four-way this four-way goes down to the centrifuge it goes out to this filter with the spigot and it also goes out to a bypass valve that's rated at a hundred psi from the bypass valve it goes to a T that drops into the tank and it also tees off and loops around to this T to this valve and what it, basically the way it works is once you turn the centrifuge on you get a high pressure volume of oil going through here hitting this four way typically what I'll do is I'll turn the centrifuge on through this valve right here ball valve I'll have that on I'll have this off this is my output oil goes through here into the centrifuge at a very low PSI because right now the oil would be flowing through this line hitting the check valve, safety valve, stopping, not going anywhere, but then it goes through this line up to here. When I started, I have this valve open. So basically, the high pressure oil bypasses a centrifuge, least resistance goes around, goes through here, and goes into the tank and just dumps into the tank. So basically, what will happen is I'll have, oh, whatever the PSI is, it'll start climbing on here, and then I'll gently drop this valve, and as I'm gently dropping it, the PSI will change and basically what will happen is it'll go from a low PSI up to typically 90 PSI I ran this at so basically it'll bypass it, it'll slow this volume down and it'll back up the oil into this line and force it to go down through the centrifuge once it hits this centrifuge let's see if it's loose, nope it's tight uh, it goes into here, spins around separates into a compartment to uh, basically a big bowl, the heavy stuff the light stuff goes down through a hole through the bottom of the tank, into the tank. Typically I'll start this tank up about two hours before I want to start running the oil. I'll uh, hook up the, uh, basically I'll just plug in the 120 volt heater element, heat the oil up to about 175, open the top, let uh, some of the, uh, you know, solvents, lighter stuff evaporate out the top you might get a little water con condensation coming out the top as well close that up I'll unplug it come over here flip on my pump 120 volt I believe it's half horsepower will run this pump centrifuge will start pumping I'll control my PSI get it to about 90 consistent PSI as it's drawing through the tank coming up through here basically it's a recirculating system I'll run it for about three hours. After about three hours, I'll shut everything down. I'll pull the nut on this, pull this off, clean the centrifuge out, put it back together, start the centrifuge up again. I usually run this about nine hours, nine to ten hours consistently. Stop, you know, every three hours to clean the centrifuge out. Once everything's done, I usually do about uh, 45 gallons of oil in this tank. Once it's done with the waste oil and everything's pretty clean, I'll put in about seven and a half gallons of 87 octane gasoline to thin it out. And it's roughly about oh 10% gas. 
Then what I'll do is I'll run the centrifuge a little bit with the bypass valve on just to mix things up. After it's all good and done, whenever you're ready for oil, you can go ahead and shut this valve off. We'll shut the oil off to the centrifuge. Come over here, turn this on, run the bypass, get the pump running, hook up a garden hose or whatever you want to here. It's just a standard automotive filter. I think it goes down to 15 microns. I've got a couple uh, rare earth magnets stuck to it just in case uh, you get any type of metal particulates. It'll collect those as well. Hook this up, open your valve to your vehicle, just pop it open. Once it's open, you can close this valve and you'll get pressure out to your vehicle. Now you can you have the option of putting a valve at the end of your hose. You can just use a uh, any type of valve and then what happens is once you close the valve this bypass safety valve will pop open once the PSI basically builds up so you can have the chance to walk over from your vehicle and shut everything down. Typically I'll pre-filter everything down to about either 100 microns or 50 microns through bag filters before I end up putting it in this tank. This tank works really well. I'm just no longer using uh, any oil. Um, I'm not commuting as far, so there's no need for me to make any of my fuel. I was commuting uh, 100 miles one way, so it's not necessary anymore. I'm pretty much five miles away now, so, uh, you know, it's about time to get rid of it. Haven't used it for about a year. It worked great. Cleaned everything out and uh, typically run waste motor oil through this. So take a look, get some ideas guys. I'm going to put this on eBay and see how it does. So you'll be able to find it on eBay and Craigslist locally through the Raleigh, North Carolina Craigslist. Thank you and have a great day.